everybody, welcome to another vlog. I'm doing this weird, <sighs> we'll get to it. Uh, we're gonna cook something today. We're gonna have some fun. Mary and I are gonna do some fun reviews. Uh, I don't know that I've done much in gaming, but uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff to talk about. There's Halloween stuff, I think, in here. Some Halloween hauls, we're, we're gonna have fun. Uh, lots more wedding and honeymoon updates. Literally three weeks out as I'm filming this. Uh, it is Saturday, uh, I, don't, I don't even know. Saturday, August 27th, 2022. And it is a little later than I want it to be, 7.16 p.m. Um, we're starting to hit panic mode, but we'll tell you more about that in the meantime. In the meantime, later. In the meantime, uh, please note that if you want to skip around this vlog, I always do time codes. So if you see stops in the red line underneath, or if you open up the description, see a bunch of blue numbers, you can jump to what you want to see, jump back and forth, jump around, jump around, get up, get up and get down, uh, all you want. So <laughs> uh, you can do that. But I have not taken my shower yet. I just shaved, but I, I need I need to eat something today and I want to get, I may be doing something Wednesday when I normally vlog and it's, it's the next few weeks are going to be insane. So just bear with us. Um, but we're going to start making something. I have to make a hot sauce sort of, and I need it to like boil down. So I wanted to get that started and then uh, go take the shower while that's happening. So. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I was gonna throw in this intro. So let's get to it, let's get cooking. Okay, so first what we're gonna do is we're going to make a hot but tasty sauce. And we're gonna experiment a little with it. So I'm trying to make like this citrusy orange flavor habanero mustard. I might even sweeten it to a certain degree. We're gonna play around. Um, so for this sauce, it's gonna be fairly simple, at least at the start. Uh, I'm only really gonna use like maybe three ingredients here unless I get a different idea. I got 10 habaneros. We are gonna take the seeds out and stuff because we want some heat, we don't wanna be killer heat. I got four Valencia oranges we're gonna juice. And we got some apple cider vinegar. And I think that's where we're gonna start. We're gonna boil all that down so these will get really soft and a lot of that liquid will boil out and just kind of go into the pepper. And then we're gonna blend that up. Then we're gonna add in mustard and blend that up. And then we're gonna play with if the agave is gonna work to make it kind of a sweeter because it needs to be sweeter for the dog we're gonna put it on. Uh, so I need, because I'm working with habaneros, I am going to use gloves because it is no joke that the oils from this, you start touching parts of your body, you're going to be very unhappy. Very unhappy. <laughs> We're going to do it in a small sauce pot so it can be deeper and hopefully boil out faster. What am I looking for? Knife. Okay. So this will take a little bit of time just because we are actually seeding the peppers. And I have not perfected that methodology yet. <coughs> Start Mary's next batch of compost. Of course, we want to ditch the stems and everything as well. These are fresh. I just got from the grocery today too, so pretty excited about it. Okay. Those in there. Mm. Do you want the uh, smaller knife? I've already screwed up. Uh, that would make sense. Well, I don't know. I don't know. You know what? Okay, I think I know what I, I think I know what I need to do. Let me just get the tips off all these first. In any bad spots. If for something this tiny, I don't think you'd want a paring knife. Well, I'm used to just chopping them and tossing them, you know, but getting the seeds out is a little extra work. Mm -hmm. That one's got a little bit of a spot on it. Let's take that off. And we got 10 of them here. Uh, I don't know if I had mentioned that. That one's good. You may or may not get any habaneros off of that one plant we have. It's one of the not so happy ones. Uh, orange habaneros, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, the chocolates have come in, and I gotta figure out something to do with some of those. And uh, the white habaneros are starting to come in, so we might be lucky with that. Of course, everything's gonna really come in when we're on honeymoon. Right? Yeah. That'll be, yeah, that'll be the thing, huh? Yeah, and my mom is not the best at keeping track of the garden. No, oh, no. All right, this one's got some problems. I didn't quite see when I got it. Ooh, Ooh, that's okay. The pepper itself is still fine despite the seeds being... Moldy? Yeah. It's all gonna get boiled out, so anything deadly will get killed. <laughs> well, I'm not eating it, so I'm not worried. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get into this one easily here real quick. 
without bringing all the mold with us. Eh. Just have to scrape it out a little bit. Yeah, you're probably right on the paring knife. You start working with the paring knife. Yes, chose correctly. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut all these into bits and then I'm gonna go in and do all that. So that way I just not worry about going back and forth with these gloves. So maybe I didn't need that. I think that's gonna be my smarter choice here. I wonder if you've tried the, the thing where you like, just cut from the term upside down and cut them on the lobes and get the seeds out that way. No. No. The, the thing with habaneros, I mean, they're just so freaking uh, awkwardly shaped and all of them are different. There's no way I'm aware of it's gonna make this much easier. Okay. I appreciate okay. the attempts at helping, but. I mean, you're fine. You're helping keeping the conversation going, so. Yeah. Um, taking a break from the, the ring research. Okay. The, uh, Don't want to tell them too much, but okay. Well, I've, <laughs> I, I've taken all my pictures and cropped them and blown them up and have them all on the one screen so I can like see them side by side. Cool. You know this is like meant for the wedding talk segment though, right? <laughs> oh, well, you might I'm... forget by Wednesday. <laughs> There'll be a lot more by Wednesday. But I did think it's funny. I was like, that sounds like you want to save that for the wedding talk and then you proceed to tell the whole. <laughs> that's fine. Well, I'm, I'm not telling him which one I'm getting or anything. Well, that's true. Hi, Jack. Did you lose your ball again? Okay. Now, I think I can just start tearing all this shit out. Right there. You just take a little break. You have too much fun chasing it around. Catch his breath. Oh, didn't go the way you thought it would. <laughs> yeah, he is wild for his sparkle balls these days. Yeah, I, I gave him one and Aaron came over to sniff it and he just hissed. <laughs> it was in his mouth. <laughs> it is quite adorable. And when he's getting around his mouth, looks like he's got sparkly goatee. Yep. Jack, did you just knock it under the couch? No, I think he got over in the... Uh, Table area there. Just pretend it's a radio drama about a cat playing with his ball, everybody. <laughs> Since we're just completely talking about something that they can't see at all. Well, I mean, how much can we talk about? <laughs> do, do we need to do a play by play of you taking apart the half arrows? Yep. Yep, that's exactly what we need to do. You know why? Why? Because it's about me. Yeah, Mary's breaking in her uh, fancy shoes. One of the many things we've learned that would make sense that we didn't think of until I saw it in a video. And it's like, oh yeah. And the thing is, shoes like this, are, there's really not much to be broken in. I just wanted to see whether or not anything's going to be a problem. Yeah, well, especially those, because you're not going to be in them that long. If I had my way, you wouldn't be in much of anything very long, if you know what I mean, and I think you do. <laughs> oh. Late, late as hell. I mean, I'm glad we did that RSVP push, but man, that slowed both of us down quite a bit today. <laughs> Very glad I'm wearing gloves. I can tell I'm getting all kinds of crazy uh, oils and stuff on my hands here. Okay. Yeah, let's see if we can get the moldy one without mushing it all into it. <laughs> I'm 
actually just gonna tear part of the pepper out because that's a little moldy itself. Yeah, that piece looks good. All right, so we got that. Let me uh, clean up my mess here as best I can. I'm just gonna get the oranges juiced and measure out a little whatever. Actually, I should probably measure my orange juice so if this is a successful uh, recipe, I can recreate it. I don't remember <coughs> what I touched. Let's kind of damp off that. Nice. Okay. Now let me rock, wash my knife real fast. Or rinse it, as you should say. Get these bad boys ready for juicing. Mm. Let's just take the stickers off for the compost element, huh? All the things you learn, you know? Give them a little smushy smush. Figured, I, I don't know my oranges, but I had uh, Valencia and not ah, crap, I don't remember what the other kind were, but these, I feel like, is what I hear they use in orange juice. So I feel like they're probably juicier. The real question is, are they couturier? Ah, ha, 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 get it? I made a fashion reference. Okay. Slice all these bad boys in half. Mmm, it smells good. I haven't mucked with fresh oranges in I don't know how long. Damn, God, I'm starving. <laughs> It'll at least be an hour before I get to any kind of food myself. Okay. Got the big boy juicer out today. This ain't no one simple little lime. Okay. Da -da -da. Maybe a snack. But I'm trying to go light on eating because I accidentally over snacked yesterday. I had a real light dinner trying to be good. And then I just spent the whole day being hungry. And then I ended up over snacking. And then I went back up a little bit. I'm like, no, I was going to get under 195, but I didn't. At least I'm finally hanging out in the 195 area lately instead of hanging out well over two. <laughs> you know, like 205 being my top bad. Stupid pandemic. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a lot of orange juice out of here. I think I chose wisely with these oranges. So we're also going to be making a bit of a pineapple salsa, but we'll do that after I shower. Cause I gotta like, I got, you'll see, you'll see. And of course you saw the title of this, you know what I'm making. <laughs> Unless it just turned out like ass. All right. Well that's gonna be like way more orange juice than I probably actually need. I don't really know how much I wanna use here. Again, this is a complete my concoction kind of recipe. I didn't look anything up for this. I'm just kind of using what knowledge I've gained and experimenting to see if this is gonna give me the results I want. <laughs> I learn by doing and, you know, often learn by failing. Failure, greatest teacher it is. Oh, that was Jack. He's trying to get in mama's room while she's in there. All right. 
Okay, uh... Let's see, let's kind of slosh this around a little bit, get some of the other juice to come through the cracks. All that pulp is uh, keeping some of it from draining in. Alright, this, this has like measurements on it. What do we end up with here? I can't see it. <laughs> is that cups? That's cups. So, what is that? That's 10, that's 15, that's 12? Is that, is that a half marker? Is that a C? What's the line below the 14? I don't have good light. I can't. Twelve. Okay. Wow. What? That can't be cups. No, oh, I'm looking ounces. at ounces. Okay, yeah, twelve ounces. Half a... A cup and a half. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. There's a cup and a half of orange juice in there. <laughs> I haven't started drinking yet. No. no, I know. I'm just really hungry. <clears throat> Let's just start pouring it in. We'll see if we use the whole cup and a half. I'm thinking we will. And then I'm thinking half a cup of the vinegar. Actually, hold on. I've done this before. I don't want to accidentally pour in seeds and pulp and all that, so let's take that top off. All right, so we got a cup and a half of fresh squeezed orange juice. Let me get a half cup measure. And we're kind of going to boil this down until there's practically no uh, liquid left. Maybe not entirely. That's not entirely true. No, we do want to keep some liquid in this. That's right. So maybe we'll boil it down to about halfway. So hopefully we'll end up with a cup of liquid plus whatever. Uh... And I'm going with apple cider vinegar for the sweeter because we do want this to be kind of a sweet thing. And there's that. All right. Put on this back burner so I can do the fan. So we don't, you know, napalm Mary to death. <laughs> Mary appreciates that. All right, uh, let's get that burner lit. Come on, there you go. And we'll go on a medium high for a minute. We're gonna lit it for until we actually get it to a boil, and then we'll turn it down. All right, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. I go take my shower and not worry about the kids. Ugh. If they are going to be unattended. Definitely need that knife more. And let's see, let's get this kind of cleaned up. Karen, why is that bad? Do what? Karen's being very spooked by that. He was eating the hell out of that bag the other days. Okay, I'll flip this later. All right. Uh. This is going to be a watch the pot boiling, so this is going to be boring for you. So I'm just going to say right now it's 7.39, the clock ticked over right as I did that. I'm going to start on a medium high. I'll probably turn this down a little bit, and I'll just give you that information when I come back. So it'll take about 30 minutes to go like brush my teeth, shower, dry my hair, all that stuff. <laughs> Mary's wearing the neck fan, like funny headphones. I like them because they kind of remind me of Lobot from uh, Star Wars. But yeah. All right, everybody, we'll be back. We'll finish this up in a minute. All right, welcome back to Clean Me. It is now 8.29 p.m. Wow, uh, it took a while to get this boiling and going. Uh, also, I did give it a stir after I cut the camera. I was like, oh, I should probably stir that vinegar and orange juice together. I was a little worried it was gonna, and I took it down to medium when it really started roaring, because I thought it was gonna maybe overboil. Uh, but we're gonna take a look at that in just a second. We're also gonna make a pineapple salsa. We're gonna try a couple things on this I've never done. So we're gonna pull this down so you can see what we're doing. I'm going to grill up the pineapple. We're going to throw it in a food processor. We don't got to deal with it too much. Roasted red pepper, cilantro, a little bit of uh, vinegar. We're also going to try and maybe roast this pasilla. It's pasilla, pasilla pepper? I always think they're like poblanos, but I don't know if that's actually the same thing or not. I need to learn. But let's take a look at what we did here. Let's see if we have this soft enough yet so it can be cooling. Do these just fall apart like a mush? Yeah, mostly. And it is boiled down quite a bit, but I think we're gonna let that go a little bit longer. 
It's pretty close. It smells really good. I got the grill pan heating on a medium high. Uh, so, I do have my food processor out. I know you can't really see it. Uh, you will see it when we go to blend. I'm just going to go ahead and start putting some things in there, I guess. Uh, let me, uh, I'm not exactly sure where I want to start. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Can we see this burner? We can't see this burner. Let me uh, move over. I'm going to turn this burner on. We're going to, I've never done this. We're going to try roasting this pepper, like char grilling it on an open flame. I've seen this done many times, but I have never done it. So I've already kind of washed that off. Let's get a flame, maybe like a medium high, and just set that right on there and keep an eye on it. We're gonna want some tongs for that. So we get those on standby. Still letting that heat up. I guess I'm actually gonna focus on this. Like it's already, it's making sounds. <laughs> See if I can get you a little bit better look at that. There you go. Because I don't want to accidentally overdo this. I think that's what I'm planning on now. So I'm trying to keep my eye on it. I guess I'm also going to need pineapple tongs. Again, since I've never, that's what I'm just, I know I keep repeating myself, but since I've never done this, I'm just trying to watch myself here. Get a sense of how long that needs to sit there. Oh, I'm so hungry. It's still going to be forever before I get to eat. <laughs> I thought about just going ahead and eating something, making the sauce, the sauce and the salsa, and then just actually building the rest of this dinner later. I probably should have, but I'm like, eh. I'd rather have it done and know that that's done and I have a little more time this week. <laughs> also, uh, make sure you're aware that since all that sugar and the orange juice, it is burning to the sides a little bit. It didn't go to a charred black burn, which is good. It'll come off of stainless steel. I'm just gonna have to put a little elbow grease in there probably. Okay, that's got a nice char to it. We're gonna turn it to another side. Don't worry, that skin's gonna come off. Theoretically. Sure hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> and I got four pineapple rings in here. We're just gonna grill them all. Light grill. Maybe about the time we get this done and get the pineapple on, that might be about where, because we're gonna need to take that off the heat, uh, the habanero, and let it cool. Let's see what we're looking at now. Uh, yeah, maybe a few more seconds on that side. Try to get the flame touching it in different places a little bit. Yeah, it looks like I can see the pepper working inside and like the skin separating, so that's good. All right, let's see what we think. Not bad. All right, let's go on this side and see what we're working with. Oops. Nope, nope, nope. I dang it. Come on now. There we go. Yeah, it's definitely got stuff going on in there. Yeah, I can see the skin wrinkling. We might go around a little bit more. I can see it blistering and separating in some spots too, so that's good. That's what we want. I thought about going jalapeno here, but the mustard's gonna be the heat, and I figure if I make a this pineapple salsa, I wanted to keep it mild so Mary could enjoy it. Okay. Let's see how that's going. We may kind of take it around some other sides. That could still use some time on that side. Meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and start laying down some pineapple. Ooh, the rings are falling apart. That's okay though. Jeez. 
Oh, maybe I've only got three rings in here? Oh, okay. Well, whatever. It is what it is. I don't think that's going to take too long. I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat off on the back. Check my pepper. Oh, that's nice and car getting blistery. Let's just keep turning around so we get it really nice and toasty. That one's going a lot better than these, but it's more on the fire. I gotta get these on the, over the flame. Just bringing a bunch of that char grill to it. I'm trying to get where the grates are covering part of that, I'm trying to get in there too. I've grilled pineapple before, but I don't do it often, so. I'm a little iffy on how long I need to let it go. You could also do this in the broiler, the, the, that, the pepper. I thought about doing that, but I didn't want to bust the whole tray out for it. You slide that off the burner so it'll cool a little quicker. Take the lid off. So you can kind of see what that ended up with. Yeah, that's pretty good. That looks about what we wanted. Oh yeah, getting some real good char now. Let's, let's get some on this. I'm gonna take my spoon here and muck about in there. Oh yeah, those are nice and soft now. About to check that. Okay, let's see if we can get a little more heat on, a little more char on this. Right, let's take a look at this piece. I got a feeling it's uh, looking pretty good. Nope. Okay. Needs a good deal longer. They all do. Okay. But I needed to give some indicator because I wasn't really sure. because I don't have my cutting board ready. I'm gonna have a paper towel ready to set that on the uh, pepper. Uh, let me go ahead and give you more of that angle because we're really gonna be mostly working over here. I'll come back when we work the pepper though. Okay. I'm pretty excited about all this. What are you doing? Oh yeah, nice and char. Can I get some like char up in there? Ooh, I'm like all afraid it's gonna explode on me. Hi, <laughs> Spooky, spooky skeletons. Hey, Jack. Okay. I'm gonna let that side go a little more. Well, no, let's, uh, let's see here. I kinda wanna get more blister there. Okay, yeah, that skin's starting to come off. So let me just get these couple of the center spots I still like to, ooh, that's actually burning, like on fire. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the heat. We're gonna call that, because the, the skin was actually starting to like flame. Did you see that? Cool. So I'm gonna let that sit there until I'm ready to come deal with it. Let me check my pineapple ring again here. Almost, almost, maybe another minute. So in the meantime, let's see, what is this? This is a 12 ounce jar of peppers. It looks like I've used about two ounces of this. So this is gonna be just kind of eyeballing 
So we're just going to put a bunch of these into the food processor. But we don't want it to be more than the pineapple. Some of the juicy stuff gets in there, that's fine. I'm going to say that was four or five ounces, maybe a little bit more. That seems good. Uh, we need to rinse the cilantro, tear the stems, and uh, get that in there. I'm just going to use that whole bushel because I like a lot of cilantro. Letting that cool before I work with it. But also just wanted to make sure it wasn't going to catch fire. Right, so there's that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn my cutting board over for a clean side. And that way I got a place to work my pepper, which we'll get to in a minute. Okay, let's check this pineapple here. Oh, that's beautiful. We're gonna turn that. Shit, we're gonna try and turn that. Oh, come on. I mean, maybe it could use a little more char, but. Ooh, that one's what we're looking for. How are you doing? Ah, that one's got a little more burn. It's le needs some juice on that puppy. Yeah, that one probably could have gone a little bit longer, to be honest. Let's move it up into the hot zone. Okay, how hot is this? It's still a little warm, but... Okay, I'm not exactly sure how we... Oh, let me bring the camera back over. Oops. Not exactly sure how I do this. What, did she use, like, a spoon, maybe? Also... Idea, save some cleaning work, potentially. Do this part over here, make the uh, skins easier to get rid of, theoretically. Looks like it's gonna come off pretty easily, though. First time I've ever done this, like I said, so just bear with me. By all means, uh, you know, I'm learning as I go. If you know how to do this, put tips in there. It's, this thing is still smoking a little bit, too, so I'm a little hesitant to get way up in its business, but it smells awesome. Despite some of this skin just not wanting to let go. And some of the char gets in there, it's not the end of the world. Mary's like, what is going on? Yeah, this does seem to be mostly doing the trick, except for a spot or two. taking the charred skin off. You don't want the charred skin of this in there. But it roasts a bunch of the flavor into the pepper. You smell how good that smells? Uh, it was really good. Uh, it smells really potent to me, but in a very good way. Now, my fingernails are about to be really filthy. Huh. Whoops. Maybe I should have used gloves just to keep this. That's right, I'll get my fingers cleaned back up. I'm sure once I start cutting this, some of this stuff will come loose a little easier too, the parts that need to. Okay. Well, Alrighty. Alrighty. Dang it. Okay. I didn't turn on my... I didn't get hot milk in here. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to say, okay, I'll wait until I get hot milk here and see how it goes. So we did not test the uh, other neck, we didn't test the neck fan. Oh, okay. I'm hot now, so I might turn it on. Oh, I might turn it on in here, okay. Like not. Gotcha, sorry, I'm trying to run like three things I've never done all at the same time, so I'm a little power focused. <laughs> 
All right, that one's uh, that one's good. It's fine. It's all just gonna go into the uh, into the food processor, anyways. That one. Yeah, I got that one a little underdone. Well, no, that one. Ooh, that's perfect. That's like two slices there, she. No. Oh my God, it is. Okay, crap. Thank you. I was wondering why it was so huge. All right, well, we're gonna we got time to work those. We're gonna work those. Get a little <laughs> extra char in there. Excellent. <laughs> As usual, Mary with the saves. Mary right. makes your observation check. Let's see what I can do here. Start working some of this pepper. I'll take the little nub off. Just toss that out. I am going to chop this up a little bit. Make sure we get the skins off these. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh yeah, I guess I want to get the seeds out too. Shit. All right. I wonder if I was supposed to take the seeds and stuff out first. God, this stuff is just messy. That is not skin, right? Okay. Everything's just going in the bowl as I get it, basically. When I see skin, I can peel. I'm peeling it. Yeah, let me see if about cutting the, uh, cutting around the seeds here, too. Ooh, this is a juicy boy. Or harder. <laughs> I guess what do I use like this and just ah okay that seems to be much more successful Jesus Very delicate, because you know, sharp knife, wet ingredient. And I need to check that pineapple, because I'm suddenly thinking it's been long enough. Oh, I need to get that skin off too. This one is having a little bit of trouble. I didn't quite get the char in this spot. Just not wanting to separate. Just doesn't want to go. All right, screw you. Because <laughs> I really need to check that pineapple. Yeah, fuck it. That's going in. Oh, Jesus, man. That shit's so messy. Definitely need to relearn how to better do this. Pineapple's gotta be good now, right? Oh yeah, crap. Nope, that's actually pretty good. Going in. And you. Ooh. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I am, uh, let me go ahead and take the heat off for now. We're gonna reuse that pan. You'll see why in a minute. All right, let me get back to futzing with this shit. A couple more pieces here. Maybe we'll have it as good as we're gonna get it. Yeah, I think it's just, I, I would have been better off broiling probably and get, so I get more char in more places. 
some of that skin is just not wanting to release for me. Screw it, that part can just get left behind. <laughs> out of my fingers pretty well. Alright, 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 alright. Deal with that stuff later, deal with that stuff later. We're still dealing with that. Let's get everything up on the cutting board here. Okay. We just need cilantro and vinegar in there for that. How is this doing temperature? Well, ooh, hi, chimachi. Because that burner was still, okay, I'm fine. I did not burn myself, burn myself. Okay, that stuff is probably fine for dumping in the thing now. Uh, okay, I'm gonna put you back over here. I'm gonna rinse my, you know, tear the stems and rinse my cilantro real quick. Oh, God, hey. Oh, jeez, man. Oh, jeez, man. Alright. You know the old trick, right? Just the uh, grab and twist, take off a whole bunch of stems all at once. So I'm left with that much. I feel like my Kroger is uh, shrinkflationing the uh, cilantro lately. Get as much of the water back out of it as I can, spread it around a little bit. I actually probably should have put this at the bottom. might actually be a little heavy on the cilantro. <laughs> Sorry if you hate it, but I love it. And towel. I don't want to keep throwing my towel back over there. I need it over here. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to do about a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar in there. Which just sounds right to me. Don't want too much. I just need that little bit of acidity to bring it together. Do I want a quarter cup or do I want a half cup? Let's go with a quarter cup. We can always add a little more in. Okay. Oh, and I can uh, turn that off now. That smells pretty good. All right. All right. Ooh. A little room to work here. I don't trust running high power things in the same line as my uh, computer. All right, now we're gonna blend. We're gonna pulse chop because we don't want to puree this too much. We want to keep some texture. Just take, just take a second. Already looking nice. Let's wipe the sides down, do a little more. Oh, 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 oh. oh that smells awesome. That smells awesome. I didn't, I said wipe the sides down, I meant, you know, what's the word? I can't, I know there's a word for this and I'm, I know it, but I'm blanking on it. Scrape, I guess, the sides down. Mm. 
Hell oh, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, clean section of the cutting board. There we go. Let's give it a few more pulses, then we'll test, taste test, and adjust. I haven't made a lot of pineapple salsas. Loud noise, Napoleon, be aware. So I'm mostly just trying to see if we're getting all the big chunks out. Because again, I don't want to take it too much further than that. Since this is meant to be kind of a topping. Alright, yeah, let's get in here. I mean, there's a few big pieces that I can just move around them for the topping bit. And I imagine once this has time to, you know, cool, it's going to be pretty nice. A little more red juice in here than I anticipated. Let's give that a taste test. What do we think? My face in this? No, I have to hunker down. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, that's pretty good. Mm. It needs to be a little bit sweeter. I'm wondering if I want to put some brown sugar in there. Then again, does it need to be sweeter? Honestly, I think I'm going to leave it there. I think the sweet will come out as it settles. Uh, and in hindsight, I don't know that I would have gotten a full quarter cup. Maybe I should have done about an eighth a cup, a couple tablespoons. It's not super vinegary, but I, it's maybe a hint more. But also where it's warm. What'd you catch, itty bit? I hear you, baby. Where are you? What'd you get? Oh, you got the little mouse? Oh, you're such a mighty huntress. Good job, baby girl. You are so good catching things for us. Thank you. You gotta praise the lady. Okay. So the salsa is good for now. I'm gonna think about it for a minute. I wonder... A little lime juice. A little lime juice might do the trick, actually. Hold on. Let me... Is still good? No. I got a half a lime here. Let's just squeeze that in. Jeez. That might be it. Just a couple quick hits. Just to get it all mixed in there. It's definitely a little more red than I've been suspecting. I probably should have held back on some of the red pepper. Mm, smells good. So here we go again. Mmm. Mmm. That did it. Yep. I still, uh, if I make it again, I still maybe go a little lighter. Honestly, you could just really use more pineapple, but they only had one thing left of rings. Or, you know, otherwise it would've been like tiny chunks. <laughs> but, that is pretty good. So we're gonna call the salsa done. Okay. I'm just gonna set this over here. I'm gonna set this in the sink. I'm gonna take this away, and then I'm gonna start playing here in a second. This is where the fun begins. Okay, 
camera's still over here. Good. All right, let me get this new bullet thingy. I definitely like this for my hot sauces because it blends everything a lot more smooth. Okay. So first things first, we want to blend up all the habanero stuff. And I'm going to, is that touchable now? It's a little warm. I'm going to try and get the habaneros out with a spoon just so I don't splatter everything too badly. pretty good too actually. Alright, more loud noises kids. Daddy always brings the noise. Foam's a little more than I expected. So that was the first step. And I don't anticipate this tastes amazing on its own, but it should taste pretty good. So we're gonna take a quick little taste test. And uh, actually, we're also gonna go ahead, before we blend this in, and we're gonna taste kind of mustard and that sauce at the same time. So we have a couple spoons here. And a paper towel, so I have some sort of set stuff. up. I don't like dirtying up the spoon rest. I know, it's weird. I'm weird. You know I'm weird. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. You see it? Let me get a taste of it. Mmm. Woo! Woo! Got a kick. But flavors are good. The orange juice is there. Very citrusy. That's much better than the orange habanero thing I did for hot zilly. Okay, so here's how we're gonna try and do this. This is a proof of concept test. I'm going to get a little on the spoon, and then very carefully, not over the whole thing, get just a dollop of mustard in there. Oh shit. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. That fucking works. Mmm, that really fucking works. We're cooking with gas now, everybody. Okay, how much mustard? <clears throat> Quarter cup, half cup. Does this have measurement marks? Whew. I'll tell you what. Let's start at a half a cup and go from there. Oh, fuck. Yeah, this is, this is fucking awesome. Honestly, I probably should just take the lid off. Go a lot faster. <laughs> And again, most of the time I might just eyeball this, but like I said, we're, we're doing science here, so we're trying to make it repeatable, you know? I got a feeling we're gonna want more mustard than that. But we're gonna blend that in, see what we think.
Now, someday I would make my own mustard. I just didn't have time for that yet. I've made, like, stone ground mustards, but I've never made a smooth yellow mustard yet, so. But I really want to. And hell, I know it's a pain in the ass, but one day I want to make my own ketchup. Just to say I can. It's mostly why I do this stuff. It's like, can I do it? Cool, I can do it. I know how to do it. Awesome. All right, let's set you over here because I got a feeling we're gonna use more of you. Okay, reseal this on. And let's give that a blend. Loud noise, kids. <laughs> still just wetter than I want it to be. That's why I think we're gonna need more mustard. But it did thicken it. It did thicken it a good little bit there. Let's check the flavor balance. It's not bad consistency. Okay. Mmm. 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 Yeah, man. Honestly, that might be just right. That might be right where we need to go with this. And I was thinking about, like I said, doing some agave in there, but I don't know that I need to. So the next test is I need to see how these flavors go together. So like, I need to get a little of the pineapple salsa. See, this is why I was thinking about sweetening up the mustard. And let's bring that over here. Let's get a little of the mustard. And let's go for it. Mmm. That is surprisingly good. Mmm. Oh, man, that is... Dude. Dude, that is some Flavor Town shit right there. Oh my god. Wow, okay, so I'm not going to do the agave. I'm going to leave it like this. That is perfect. That is perfect. So now, I'm going to cut the camera for a minute. I'm just going to kind of straighten up. I'm going to get this into a squeeze bottle. Get this into, get the salsa, you know, just make some room. I'm going to reheat the pan. We're going to grill a dog and we're going to build this sucker. All right, I'll be back in a minute. All right, welcome back, I cleaned up. I got my salsas laid out, one for us, one for dad. Mustard in a squirt jar. Pan is hot. We just gotta heat up this dog and start building. So, couple of things. I am experimenting with this. My first thought was again, for some reason, I don't know why, but I think Hawaii, I think Spam. Did Spam come from Hawaii? I'm not sure, I guess because I'm thinking ham. Spam is popular in Hawaii because it's hard to get meat. There you go. So, I should have bought some, but, after I made that decision, I found out I have these in the fridge. So we're gonna try one with these and see what we think. Cause pineapple and bacon, can't go wrong. We're gonna grill one of these up. Um, the other issue I have is I went to the store today. They had every kind of heat King's Hawaiian except for King's Hawaiian hot dog buns. But I got these mini sub rolls. They should work at least for this as an experiment. So uh, that's where we're gonna start. And basically that's all this is gonna be. We're gonna put this on a roll. We're gonna hit it with the mustard, the salsa, and we're gonna have a good time. Um, and also, I hope I don't die because these did expire a little while ago, but I'm gonna go for it because it's late, I'm hungry, and I ain't got no other choice. It is 9.20 p.m. I have not eaten dinner yet. <sighs> I feel like this should be able to pull apart. I feel like that's why they did that. There we go. Hey, Mary! Never mind, she won't want one of these. All right. Did you want one? Uh, I just realized you had the camera point that way. Yeah. Open the window. Oh well, yeah, dude. <laughs> well, is that the case? Did you want one of these? Uh, sure. All right, fine. Right. Luckily for you, the camera was pointed down. Oh, okay, it looks like it was pointing at you though. No, it's, it's down. 
or else you would have seen Mary in a, in a sports bra. That feels like that should have sizzled a lot more for me. Maybe that pan wasn't as hot as I want. I don't mind cooking it in the pineapple stuff because it's all going the same place. So let's see what we're dealing with these buns, huns. Hmm. These might be problematic. Ah, yeah, see, fudge. So we're gonna have to kind of fake it. That was my concern, is that they would they weren't like, yeah. We could do it as a sandwich, but it's not gonna look right for the photo. Crap. Alright, well, how about this? How about this? Because we're gonna work a photo. Let's see if we can cheat it for the photography element. <laughs> Okay, these might take a minute. Why is that? That's like, I feel like you're not going. Have you tried, uh, by the way, don't get on camera. You're not, you can see the angle there, but did you try the salsa? No, because okay. there's no chips or anything out. No, oh, I thought you just want to try it, but whatever. All right, so we just need these to cook. Okay. Here I can eat. So I'd be tempted to turn that, this upside down so you can put that in the center one. That's so not off to the side. That's wise, maybe. Sure. <laughs> oh, oh man, they're gonna take forever. Normally I would just throw these in the microwave for like a minute. Get yourself a tan. Uh, Echo, I, I set timer for 10 minutes. What? 10 minutes, starting now. Yeah. Oh, we still have this other taste test thing we have to do and movie reviews and cocktail. Oh, oh, you're right. Honestly, didn't even do it for that. But yay. Yay me. Man, that mustard's so good. I'm so thrilled with that. Man, I just feel like they should be getting more sizzle. Yeah, like that. Okay, we'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. As long as you don't hold your nose. It is not time yet. <laughs> the cats are desperate for food. Maybe we got a very late start though, so they gotta wait a while on dinner. It's almost time. I guess I could work on loading some dishes back here for y'all's entertainment. Let's figure some of this out. Definitely gonna be a two load night. I know that much. <laughs> Yes, that's what she said. There, there. This is a big, big thing we need to get out of the way to so work the other things. Sit back here. Real pain. Yeah, that works. Yeah, you can put 
the silverware is. pan in. Yeah. Still need to work the coffee pots, but I'll get there. Alright, so now we can start rinsing this stuff out. Aerosolized habanero. Ugh. Okay. So that glass will have to go on another low. Those go on another low. That's fine. I need to run all that. Okay. Let's take a look at these. I feel like they gotta be ready to turn, right? Oh, that one's actually charring up a little. Okay. That's fine. I wanted to get a little char on it. Okay, so they're almost done, and uh, there's my dishes for now. Like I said, we're gonna get a little more in there. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's problematic. All right, I am so excited to eat. Ooh, baby, baby, baby. So excited to eat. Uh, let's see, how long is it? Okay, so, okay, yeah. Let's just be a few more minutes, and then we shall build. It's gonna be real simple. I'm gonna put a dog in there. We're gonna drizzle the mustard, and then we're gonna hit it with some relish, some drained relish. So I might wanna see if we got a slotted spoon. You don't wanna put all that juicy juice. Actually, I am going to use a fork for it. That should work a little better, right? Yeah. Cool. <sighs> yep, they're getting there. They are getting there. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. It's a good thing it's Saturday night, man. We're doing so much stuff today. Because we still gotta do like two 40 minute let's plays. Ugh. Oof. Do, do, do. I'm almost 17,000 steps for today, though. That's good. Sorry, I about run out of things to talk about <laughs> while we wait on this sausage to cook. It's a good thing we're not doing more than one hot dog in here anyways, because, you know, this vlog will be long enough with this one. But look, see, it's not just about making the dogs, it's about making all the other things. And I can certainly perfect them. I can get that pineapple salsa a little better with more pineapple, less red pepper, a little less vinegar, and maybe a whole lime juice. And I might experiment in the future with brown sugar. That is pretty much perfect, although I wouldn't mind experimenting with a little agave in one, just to turn it into kind of a honey mustard-esque thing. But I'm really happy with how that turned out. Okay, these dogs are looking close to cooked. Well, I mean, technically they're pretty cooked, but. Wish I was hearing them cook more. I kind of want to get some heat up into that. Heat into that. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the heat. I'm gonna call these down, I think. Sure. I'm gonna take this one for me. Let's find a good looking angle on it. I need one to look, you know, right and awesome in the <laughs> in the shot. All right. 
So it doesn't overcook on her. You almost lost it into the freaking. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's build. Oh, I don't know. I don't need to shake that. All right, I do wish this was orange. Oh, geez, I forgot it's. I do wish this was oranger. Okay. Try to get some good up this. It's not too wet. Come on. I have to use my fingers. Oh, that's right, Mary's exercising. So we're kind of hearing that, and hopefully you're not hearing it too bad or getting me copyright claims. <laughs> oh, fuck. Plus, I didn't think about the fact that I need her here to film. Shit. Oh, fuck. And then I did that, and I made it unbeautiful. Mary? How long till you can film me? Because I'm ready. All right, let's hope this doesn't fall apart in that amount of time. But that looks pretty damn good. Let me, uh, oh, that looks, looks pretty. That I am proud of. I'm gonna go ahead and snap some photos while we're waiting on uh, her shit. Oh, why you gotta change the color temperature? Ugh. I can hate the lighting in here. I did think about setting up a different light. Echo, cancel timer. Okay. All right, everybody, we're gonna cut to the beauty footage. Look at this. I hate the lighting in here, but look at this. It's definitely color correcting for like the warmer tones of this light, and I don't like that. Here, give me some white balance. There we go. Look at that sexy thing. That looks so good. It's just a shame it's not gonna fall. It's gonna fall apart on that bun. But oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna hand this off to my lady. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I thought you were gonna drop it. I didn't know you had it. Oh. <laughs> my, All right, remember we're trying to get a cool target. thumbnail too, so. Okay. You know, yeah, I think this is gonna be awesome. See, this is all options. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I think Step it's one, unhinged jaws. No, this is actually one of the smaller hot dogs I've made. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that is fucking delightful. Oh, man. Just like Jonah Ray. Mmm. Dude. This is, this is, don't tell the rest of the Joe Bob crew, but this is one of the best ones I've ever made. That is awesome. That's fussy. Honestly, I probably could have put more of the mustard on there. My lips are tingling from it, but I'm not getting the heat in the dog, you know? But like the stuff that went on my lips are tingling. Mmm, mmm. Shut. It's uh. Mmm. Turn it away from the camera. Mmm. Mmm. No, that is fucking awesome, yo. Um, the mustard just kind of melds into everything and gives a little heat, but that pineapple salsa on this like chicken, pineapple bacon sausage, I don't even, that is awesome with the sweet bread. Or, you know, yeah, the sweet, yeah, Hawaii. I might make me something. Yeah, ma'am. That's. Maybe not without the habanero mustard, uh, though. Mm, mm, mm. I was gonna say you could put regular mustard on it, but you're not a real fan of that either. <laughs> I would not have recommended that for you. Even that tiny bit. There's the power of 10 habaneros in this sauce. But again, I think what's happening is the sweet of the pineapple and the sweet of the bread is really cooling that down. And that's why like only where it's touching my lips am I really getting, you know, spicy tingles. <laughs> that's why I did it. Cause Jonah Ray gives us all spicy tingles. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. 
Yeah, man. Yeah, that's that's incredible. That's in the cookbook. <laughs> <laughs> I still may play with the spam version. Try to get it in real buns, like I said, but damn. Yeah, yeah. if memory serves, spam is like, a, came out of World War II. Okay. Uh, mm. If I remember correctly. And we're island, or Hawaii is a fairly isolated island state, nation. It may not have been a state yet when Spain was invented. Ah. Oh, God. Uh, but, uh, because oh. it costs so much to import anything out there, getting fresh meat out there can be a bit of an issue because you don't have a lot of grazing land either for, for like, cows and whatnot. I just snot bubbled, and I'm pretty sure the camera caught it. Oh, I did not see it. So I'm waiting for... Mikey P to make a reference. Mm. That was fucking phenomenal. Like, seriously. I'm so goddamn proud of myself. Now, some of it, I'm extremely hungry. Mmm. <laughs> but hot damn, what a good idea this was. All right. That's your cooking for this week. Next week or the week after, I'm not sure when it's happening, you're gonna get something really weird. <laughs> More vlog. Okay, I'm filming this on August 24th, I want to say. 25th, 2022, 10.30 p.m. Mary and I went to the Hamburg Spirit Halloween today. It's only been open for two days. So finally, we got to go to a Spirit Halloween that was pretty well fully stocked. Hopefully you can't see that. I'll look it back. So I just want to show you what our haul is. We are going to decorate this year. We didn't get everything yet, but we've started getting some pieces while the getting's good. So we even got our very first animatronic. It has begun. <laughs> I got this from my Gomez outfit. I think that's pretty cool. We got this bad boy. He's on sale for 50 bucks. So 50 bucks for that's pretty good. We had 20% off coupons and we used 20% off on this motherfucker. Gonna get a fog machine. That's okay. That's gonna go in the graveyard. Guess what else is gonna go in the graveyard? That lights up and blinks. We got the Here Lies Beetlejuice. Beetle guys. And I've been to Spooky Town again. We got the cool clown thing, 30% off, and then I had a $15 rewards. And look, I actually got one. They had a few. I noticed mine is dinged, but I don't care. I'm gonna open it. So I was like, ah, screw it. I'll take the shitty box. Leave the good boxes for people that may be collecting. So yay, Halloween haul. <laughs> Welcome to, God, I don't know where anything is going in what order. Order. Um, August 27th, 2022, 9.59 p.m. Uh, we're about to make a drink. It is called, I found this online. It's not my creation. A Mezcal Mule. I bought, so, so again, in honor of Jonah Ray, I know he likes, he gets interested. <laughs> I heard the reason he got interested in the male girl margarita out at the Jamboree was he's like, ooh, I wonder if it has Mezcal or whatever. So he's into that. He's also kind of into seltzers, so we're not necessarily doing that, but you'll see what we're gonna do. Uh, well, because the ginger beer is gonna give it a seltzery ish vibe. Is that fair, Mary? I'll, I'll get some carbonation. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So this is pretty easy. It's two ounces of mezcal, half an ounce of lime juice, six ounces of ginger beer, some ice, maybe a slice of lime. I'm not going to do the slice of lime. Um, we're going to do it in our mule cup so it doesn't say to do that. And so I had no idea how expensive high-end mezcals are. This is like a $60 bottle. And it's the cheaper of it. And of course the recipes I found, each one of them is like a different type of mezcal. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, that's awesome. But anyways, I bought this one. So this is probably a good mid-range? That would be my guess. Because there was like a like a, like a a Jose Cuervo looking thing that was probably like $26. And it was, I think it's like Cabos or something like that that, uh, uh, that I go up next to. Cabo, and Cabo? No. Oh, okay. Um, and that was like $75 for a bottle about this size. But hey, now we have it and I'm excited to try it. So, I mean, it's just made differently. I'm not exactly, we were trying to find out the difference, but it was never clear. Oh man, I did this poorly. Why, if you're $60, this is too much. There we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's not the trash can. <laughs> no worries, I do that on occasion myself. <laughs> All right, is this a cork or is it screw? It's screw top? Nope, it's a cork, okay. Cool. All right, so we want two ounces. Mm -hmm. 
one for me. Smells kind of good. It smells like tequila, but not like harsh tequila. Like usually I don't like the smell of tequila. It's kind of harsh. It definitely smells like a little smoother. One for you. And look who's not making it a double. It doesn't really call for it. I mean, it's gonna put six ounces of uh, other stuff in there. All right, I'll clean that up more in a minute. All right, half ounce of lime juice. One for you. And mine's a little heavy, but one for me. And it's six ounces of the, the ginger beer. Yeah. So, three quarter cup. Okay, yeah. Quarter cup, three quarters. No, no, no. I think I have an actual three quarter cup. Oh, you have a three quarter cup? Oh, and that, and that red cup? Yeah. That's right. Quarter cup, third a cup, half a cup, two thirds a cup, three quarter cup. Mary, See? for the win. I'm not used to you having the cooler kitchen tools. Yeah, Mom picked those up for us at the Home and Garden show. No, I, I remember. I just, you know. I was just trying to throw you some props. <laughs> Thank you, honey. You're welcome. Because these cans are seven and a half ounces each, so. And depending on how I feel about it, I may just pour whatever's left over into my cup. <laughs> Man, these must, something is lying. Well, that smells pretty good, though. Mm, I could have made doubles. Even once we get some ice in, that's not gonna be a lot. <laughs> Nice thing is having that wide mouth there, though. Mm -hmm. right, let me get some ice. Start about four cubes each, see how we feel. Eh, maybe a few more cubes each. <laughs> two and two, perhaps. Six ice cubes each. That feels better. Freeze your dang clothes. Let's get some cocktail straws in here for stirring. I always like two, so I'm gonna give me two. Now we love vodka. Stir all the carbonation out of it. I don't know. Well, I, I stir my vodka club sodas a little more than that, but. All right, since she has the camera on me, I'll go first. <clears throat> Ooh, interesting. I get what they're saying about the smokiness. Ooh, interesting aftertaste. Do you want to try some of the straight up? No, okay. maybe in the future, but now we know. That's good, I like that. I think that's gonna grow on me as I try it too. This is mine. Yeah. Don't serve the carbonation. I, I'm doing much gently. Oh, oh, you got, by the way, I just noticed you got a piece of something in your teeth. <clears throat> like the top, one side, you got it. I think it was cilantro for the salsa. Probably. Is smoky, right? I was not expecting that, right? <laughs> Even though you just said that, I wasn't expecting. I know. Yeah, we definitely got to try actual margaritas with this stuff too. Um, I'm not sure if it would be my go-to per se, but right, it's definitely drinkable. Yeah, it's something I'm interested in. I wonder how it'll go. Like the more we drink it, you know, like it tastes better and better. Are you gonna pour the extra in or are you saving it? I wanna put, uh, probably here. Gonna... That's good. So, why you didn't finish pouring out the first one before you start pouring out the second one? That, because, because I'm Eric. <laughs> 
All right, well, there you go. That is the Mezcal, uh, the Mezcal Mule. Oh, I just got it. I just got the pun. Because Moscow Mule, Mezcal Mule. It's been a long day, y'all. My camera looks like Mickey Mouse. A mule is basically ginger beer plus. Right, yeah. The only time it's not called mules was the dark and stormy, and it's ginger beer and dark rum. Okay, you get all that? Cool. All right, moving on. 3,000 years of I hating my hair and longing. Um, I'm desperately dying for a haircut, but I'm trying to get it closer to the wedding. Uh, so 3,000 years of longing. Um, okay, I think I really, I think I, I mean, I definitely liked it. How much I liked it, I'm still unsure. Now, some of that is... Uh, you had the wrong expectations going A little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was gonna be something bigger, something more monkey paw-ish. When really it's almost stage play like with these like really visually interesting vignettes. Uh, there's great performances. Yeah. The stories are interesting and it's asking interesting questions and makes you think like what would you do with some of it. And then when they do visually, there is that George Miller brilliance in there. But it's kind of slow. It's it's like somehow simultaneously entertaining but dull. Like and I wouldn't say dull, dull is usually an insult, but it, it's very quiet. Um it, it's a lot of people telling stories. It, it's got an anthology vibe to it uh, because of how it's structured. Yeah, and parts of that uh, are really, really cool. The, uh, and I think I get what you're trying to say is it is somebody telling you a story and it's like, and this and this happened and then grand blah, blah, blah. And, then, and I mean, you know, like really descriptive but not going like, and then, and then, and then, and then. Which I think because the last George Miller movie I saw was Mad Max Beyond, or Mad Max Fury Road. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't expecting Mad Max out of yeah. this, but I was expecting a little more, something a little more bombastic, not as restrained as it was. I think it's, be, it was kind of the vibe was because it was very much a, it wasn't a one long car chase. It was a romance basically. <laughs> Yeah. It was very much a romance. Which is great, because, uh, you know, I do love romance, and it was kind of cute. And, and, it's a, it's a, and it's a fantastical romance. Yeah, and again, I think the stories they tell, and like the visuals particularly in that, are fantastic mm -hmm. as well. I think it's a movie I will like more on a second viewing, because I'll have I'll be more adjusted for what it is and what it wanted to be. Mm -hmm. So like I said, I enjoyed it. I'm very glad I saw it. But at the same time, like, mm, okay. Maybe it wasn't, like, I don't know. It wasn't as like hyper crazy as I thought maybe. He, he just felt restrained in a, in a way that like felt like he wanted to be. It didn't feel like his hands mm -hmm. were tied. It just felt like, yeah, just a little here and there. And then when he does though, yeah. those visual images are amazing. The, uh, the special effects for the Jin were, were really good. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, it's, it's like somebody took Mor Morbius and dialed it way back. You know, that, 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 I could see that it. special effect thing. Yeah, the apparition-ish kind of thing, yeah. The trails. Yeah. Which is interestingly explained in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, subtle fire is a term that has stuck with me. Uh, yeah, I don't think any of that stuck with me, but... So, uh, yeah, it was it was cool. It's not going to be for everybody. Yeah. It's not going to be for everybody. Total Swint was great. Idris Elba was fantastic. They're great at telling stories. I think if you had lesser actors in there, it would be mm -hmm. not nearly as effective. Because yeah. I think they are just so charismatic and great at holding your attention. Um, so that was really fun. There is a little bit with uh, some neighbors that is kind of <laughs> fun. <laughs> Messed up, but kind of fun. Yeah. Mary and I definitely had um, the discussion of if we had three wishes on the way home. You know, like oh, mm -hmm. on the way home, we had the discussion about what would our three wishes be. Uh, mine, I think I've pretty much got it foolproof, although I'd need to work some of the wording here because you don't want to get tricked, you know what I'm saying? So my mm -hmm. first wish would be that any, of my, none of my wishes have unintended conse consequences or effects on anybody in the entire world <laughs> now living or, or to be living. So basically, you know, word it in a way where it's like, none of these can turn around and trick me. Mm -hmm. Then the next thing was to have a uh, healthy, long, enjo you know, a long, healthy, enjoyable life. Not immortality, but just always in good health, always in good physical shape, you know, and live a reasonably long life, 90, maybe 100 even, but happy and still mobile to the last days. Mm -hmm. 
and that wish that for my family and friends as well. And then the third was not to be rich, but to wish to always afford anything I want. So it's not like I already, and, and with no, uh, you know, uh, taxation or government consequences, but that falls <laughs> under the first part of the wish anyways. Yeah, because so. my, my first reaction to this was like, if, you, if you're not careful, you're going to have the IRS showing up at your door going like, you need to explain it. Right, and that's why I was like, it's got to go under the no tricking policy. Like, I can just buy stuff. I just have the money. Like, it just magically appears, and nobody bats an eye. It's like, oh, this thing has, what, 20000 Okay, I'll buy it. And then, boom, I got 20000 in the account. Yeah. Buy it. No one bats an eye. Hey, you know what? Hey, you want to go spend $100,000 for a Paris first-class vacation? Let's do it, because I desire to do it. Yeah. Those are my three. That's what I think a version of that would be mine. I, I, this, this is not me nitpicking, per se. This is just a legit question of... Back in the day, before technology is was anywhere near wh where it is now, that would have been so easy because mm. money, you, your cash would just show up in your pocket. There you go. Yeah. Uh, but now that you have everything is electronic, bank trans transactions and everything, is this like can is can you use magic to fool technology? Yeah. Well, yeah, because magic is just science we don't understand yet, so it's superior technology, so it could beat our technology. Mm -hmm. Anyways, did you want to take yours? Oh, or? nah. <laughs> all right. They were all sex stuff. <laughs> no, I, I'm more like the thing is just like, I don't necessarily need to be rich, but I would like to be able to live comfortably. Yeah. I just want to be able to have whatever I want if I want it. Which means I don't know how much money. It, it, it would be... I you might as well wish you were rich because you would well, live like you're rich. See, this is also the problem is I couldn't like wish for a million dollars or ten million dollars because I'll burn through that shit in a day. I could, I could go through a million dollars in a day. That's not even a joke. You start getting me to where I can like buy RE cameras and things like that. Or fuck, just book vacations in Disney and Universal. I could, I could do it pretty easy. It's like, I'm going to book your best room for an entire year. Give me the annual passes at the highest tier. <laughs> uh, I'm going to order every single thing from your shop online. Damn it, now I wish I had that wish. Wait. You rub my bottle. All right, anything about, else about the movie, though? Um, I, so, so, I, 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 know, I know I enjoyed it more than you did. Mm -hmm. And I did enjoy it. I'm not, yeah. not yeah, shit. Uh, but, yeah, because I, I, I was like, oh, this is pretty to look at. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think its strongest mm -hmm. thing in this is the visuals, followed by some really charismatic actors and some interesting stories being told. Yeah, so it's okay. a definitely a go see. I don't know that I, I, for you it's a full go see. For me, it's like, well, I mean, if you got Regal Unlimited, <laughs> sure. Oh, that, that that feels like the lowest level. Oh of... no, no, lowest level is like wait till it's free on cable. <laughs> <laughs> there are many levels between that, you know, there's like, you know, there's, there's opening night IMAX 3D ticket, there's opening night regular ticket, there's matinee, there's, well, actually matinee no, is no, unlimited. Matinee doesn't exist for you. Well, it still exists for people, I'm giving them. <laughs> uh, then there's uh, Regal Unlimited, then there is day one 4K and or Blu-ray purchase, then there's, uh, you know, uh, subscribe to a streaming service to see it, then there's just wait for it to be on a streaming service you have. Then it's basically wait for cable. And <laughs> that's kind of the scale for me. <laughs> that's how I break it down. <laughs> All right. We got other things to talk about. So let's, let's wrap that. Yeah, that's my hat. Hey, all right. So I'm going to talk to you about Pinocchio. I did actually go and watch Pinocchio, the original animated film. And you know what? I really enjoyed the hell out of this one. Figaro might be my favorite. That's the other thing to do. Figaro might be my favorite uh, Disney cat so far. He's adorable. Um, that is one another, I'm finding a lot of these Disney movies, I, uh, greatly misinterpreted what the stories and stuff were. Like, you know, you think of Pinocchio, you think about, he tells a lie and his nose grows. That's like 30 seconds of the movie. Um, I've had similar things like with Cinderella and stuff too, and it's like, damn, I didn't know. Then that was so simple. But, um, I enjoyed it. Pinocchio's journey is very interesting. The bad kids he gets caught up in and what they're doing, turn him into donkey. He has donkey, spoilers. He has donkey ears more than he has a wooden nose or a growing nose, you know. And I watched it the day I did the trailer, which you'll see coming out this weekend, trailer number two, my first look at the new live action Pinocchio. And after seeing the trailer and then watching the movie, I'm like, damn, that movie looks really good. So I'm excited about that. 
But again, it had a real fun time. It had a good flow. It had a good vibe. I love the music. Of course, I didn't really realize that's where uh, Wish Upon a Star and stuff came from. Some very, very classic things you associate with Disney itself uh, originated in that film. And the stuff with the whale is super fun and just creepy and weird and interesting. And uh, yeah, Pinocchio, it's like way up there. I really, really loved it. That was a good time. And one last thing, I went and saw Top Gun Maverick again tonight. It was the last night. They put it back in IMAX for like a night or at least one screening. And it turns out with my Regal Unlimited, which yeah, I'm just full on board with this. I found out about a lot of stuff too late. Um, basically, I convinced my dad because I was like, you know what? You need to come see this. You need to see these flight. And he enjoyed the hell out of it. These uh, flight scenes in IMAX. There's no better way to see that. And it's still just as gripping the second time. You know, maybe the story itself a little less interesting, but the movie, the, those action scenes are just so freaking phenomenal. My favorite part about the whole process is thanks to Regal Unlimited, I got my ticket, my IMAX ticket was like six bucks or something because I had to pay the upgrade free, but I had an unlimited guest ticket I could use for anything. So I got him in for free. And then using some points and free things I earned in August, I was able to get, take my dad and I, we both went to see an IMAX film and both had medium popcorn, so two medium popcorns and an order of nachos, all for less than $9. Not counting my subscription fee, of course, but I've already seen other things this month. And I was gonna get a free hot dog too, but I understand it, I can see both sides. They don't have hot dogs right now on weekdays. There's a lot of foods they don't have unless it's like a Friday or a Saturday because they just can't afford to keep it going because a lot of people aren't going to the theater right now. So it is, it is a double-edged sword, so I'm not like trying to complain about it. I'm just a little bit bummed that I didn't also get my free hot dog. And then Mary has a free hot dog, free medium popcorn, and free uh, nachos too, but that's all going to waste because she didn't have time to get out there. <laughs> I think her unlimited ticket might be going to waste too, or did I use that for something? I don't know. I should have used it for me on Jaws. Anyways, we're going to see Jaws and IMAX tomorrow. I'm excited for that. But uh, it was a good time. We got there too early because I was going to eat my dinner there. So literally, I had some popcorn and some nachos for dinner. Uh, but dad and I sat down and had a margarita at the bar and hung out for like 20 minutes. So that was cool. And the movie was really, really fun again. Okay. Uh, I get a little bit of time to hang out with Mary. I'm going to go do it. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to tell you about Regal and the Unlimited and the points, because the Regal Crown Club is partially where we got those popcorns. So I found out don't ever use your points for upgrade, for size upgrades. Um, if you're using for like the free, you know, because size upgrades, like if you use 6,000 points to get a free small popcorn, and you can load multiples at a time on one card and do it, uh, you can upgrade to a medium for a dollar or a large for $2. You can get a large popcorn for $2 without using the additional two or 4,000 points to do so. So highly recommend you do that um, instead. I imagine this is something similar with the drinks too. I just don't do a lot of soda, but I just wanted to throw that out there. And it's like, you know, I spent 12,000 points to get two small popcorns and paid $2 to upgrade those to mediums. And I have like 156,000 plus points, so I'm gonna get a lot more free popcorn. Okay, that's it. Hey, everybody, okay, here we go. Wedding, update, honeymoon, what has happened? My hair got worse. It was fine until I touched it. Um, <laughs> wedding update, predominantly, because honestly, nothing else on the honeymoon yet. There's nothing else really needed. I mean, I guess we, I don't even think we bought any more. Oh, we did buy more tissues. Well, yeah, but I think you're right to learn that we know how many steps. So she is doing tennis shoe stuff. Um, we're not showing you any of our park costumes yet because we want that to be a cuter. You get to see it once we're in the park. But I did get a bunch more of one of mine. Um, we still have another one we need to settle out and all that. But that's pretty much the honeymoon update. Let's jump into the wedding update. Jesus fucking Christ, where do we start? The kids have the zoomies and you're hearing the pitter patter. Yeah. Um, so. Let's see, so there's a lot. Uh, it's a lot of little details, some ups, some downs, but we're getting to a place where we're getting close to having it worked out. Which is good. Yeah, especially because there's been a couple of extra surprises along the way lately. <laughs> Things that weren't clarified. Um, all right, so. All right, so we, okay, so we nudged everybody on our guest list. Mm -hmm. I think you have like maybe two couples on yours that haven't responded. I've got five or six people on mine that haven't responded. We're at something like, uh, what is it, 63? Yeah, 63 confirmed with a possible extra 17 still coming. So the final count should be between 63 and 80 people. So that's like, mwah, perfect. <laughs> um, so we like that. Uh, 
The registry is starting to work, so we got another registry gift. We got a day of Genie Plus, thank you. Well, thank everybody. If, and if you all do any registry stuff and we don't thank you right away, I'm sorry, we will thank you. It's just, it may be after the honeymoon because we have so many other things just like, and my brain is jumbled from the last two days with so much information I'm juggling. Uh, okay, so then the next thing we found out while we're on the invitations, I, I have a love-hate with this. I knew this would happen. I think it's funny. I'm also kind of sad and I apologize to one of the main house managers. As you know, I've talked about a lot of my friends are the people that work at Azure. It got to the point, oh, yeah. it got to the point where literally like the house manager, one of them had to put out an email to everybody and say, okay, nobody else is allowed to ask for September 17th. <laughs> we do need enough people to run the restaurant. <laughs> I was like, I apologize, but that's also kind of cool. I think that's really funny. Unfortunately, one casualty of that is one of my favorite people who I really wanted to be there and was definitely coming, but apparently they were on vacation recently and hadn't RSVP'd or asked for the time off. And by the time they got back, it was too late because that email had already dropped. Yeah. <laughs> he reconfirmed, but it's okay. He may be there for the Friday night dinner because we're doing a rehearsal dinner at Azur. So uh, the rehearsal dinner. Okay, so we got that booked. Um, we're not having 30 people, but they're holding enough for 30 people for us. Mm -hmm. And we'll give them the real number once we have it this coming weekend. And uh, we got a time worked out because we're going to go over to Mary's folks and we're going to do our rehearsal walk, which the more I thought about it, yes, you're right. And we'll talk about, about that in a minute. Um, we will have a section about that so you can, you can gloat. Uh, <laughs> and um, so we kind of got that going and we are going to do a preset menu, but now we're at the place where we're going to use some of their already created preset menus and maybe ask to change a thing or two. Because uh, there's mostly because none of them really had any kind of vegetarian vegan options. And of course, some of our friends have to be a little picky. And then also there is a dish that dad really, really would like to be on there if they can do it. <laughs> and I don't blame him because if it does go on there, that's probably what I'm gonna have. But um, pretty excited about some of the other stuff. One of them has an avocado to uh, avocado and shrimp toast appetizer choice. And I'm like, yup, I want that. Um, while we're on that, what was that? It looks like you don't, you can't do that. They'll be like, see, they don't even kiss. Um, ah, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> not on camera. Um, but what was really interesting is yesterday, oh, by the way, we're filming this, uh, oh, last day of August, August 31st, 2022 at 10.50 p.m. Okay. Um, so yesterday, Dad and I went out, we yesterday. did our, well, actually yesterday, and we'll get to this because this is going to be one of the bigger talks. We did the decorations, planning, walkthrough at the venue. But uh, after that, Dad and I went out to do our normal shopping. Uh, we got pretty hungry. So by the time we got home, it's like, uh, we could talk each other into dinner. And we were thinking about maybe going out and like getting some fast food or something. And I asked Mary if she would want anything. And she's like, well, what? I wouldn't mind going to Azure and trying the, uh, the, Napo the Portobello Napoleon, the thing on our menu that she's having at the wedding because it's on the menu right now. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you? You're suggesting we go to Azure? Because I really wanted to try that dish before I was committed to it 100%. <laughs> yeah, but I got really excited because I was like, well, it's a Tuesday. It's almost 7 o'clock. I don't know if we can get in. But I was like, and I can't spend my normal time there, like a long dinner. But I was like, you know, if we just do two courses, we'll be all right. And that's what we did. But it worked out so well because it became a huge research trip. We were able to get in, no problem. They had a cool Italian wine flight option. So I, was, I had a lot of nice wines. And then uh, our man Otter was there and he made this new like smoked mango ketchup for these cheeseburgers mm -hmm. that dad and I got, which was incredible with this like side cup of the cream and mushroom soup. And then we had these like special salads and it was great. And Mary so had the, just, the, the face I just made that you may not have caught was me going like, what did I do with my, my, uh, uh, my take home? The cornbread. Oh. I was like, what did, is it still with her? I don't know what you did. I don't remember. <laughs> Anyways. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. And oh. so we got to try that dish. Of course, I took a bite. Mm -hmm. Mind blowing. Almost enough for me to change my, 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 my meal. But no, I need, I need the one I'm getting. But what did, what did you think of it? I loved it. Yeah. I, I think I chose Wesley. She did. I chose Wesley, but that's for the playlist and we'll get to that. <laughs> um, oh, can I tell my story? Well, only, like only if, only if you tell me if I got points for that or not, because yes, you know the joke I'm making. Yes. Okay, thank you. No, Mary, you may not. This is my vlog. So then, no. <laughs> yes, by all means. So, uh, because when uh, he called me asking about dinner and stuff, mm. I just finished. Can we just not say where? I don't. Well, fuck, no, I fucked it up. Now, go ahead. I'll be over here. This is a long story. <laughs> it's not that bad. So. Mom, uh, Deb, Tina, and myself. Yeah, so this is, we'll get to this. We did the decorating party. They were all together. They were all together. Yeah, but we had just, we, we figured out the, the bouquets. 
So, right, they, after that, they went out and figured yeah. out bouquets. Nice, yeah. good, good detail. So, uh, I was taking mom home, and mom's going like, well, why don't we just go ahead and pick up dinner? I was like, okay, and she's, she's where you want to go? She's just like, place that should not be named here. I was a little disappointed to find out that she was into there. <laughs> but she, It's not like she goes every week. I still, I haven't gone in a decade. It's not that hard. Good for you. <laughs> there, there's, there's better out there anyway. Sorry. <laughs> Anywho, uh, so was, uh, Eric called when we were talking, and it was like, Mom, it was like, well, we'll get you, you know, you and Dad something, and then I'll drop you off and you should meet with Eric. Uh, thing was, there were cars like wrapped around the building, so now and you there know were like you. tons of people in the parking lot, and there was just this one place to get around the drive-through and everything to get back out. Right. And there's this whole gaggle of college students just standing in the middle of it. Now, I drive a hybrid. And, you know, going real slow, there's no motor sound. Yeah, I used and to so, have one, yeah. And so I'm like, and there are people looking in my general direction, and they're completely oblivious. And I'm just like, I'm almost like up to the legs of the people standing, like, with their backs to me. I was like, do I tap them or do I hunt? I'll be nice, I'll honk. Yeah, you definitely don't tap them. I, it, I hope that wasn't even actual a serious thought. <laughs> no, no, that was a Okay, okay. <laughs> I panicked for a split second. But I honked. Woo, that jumps that I got from that. Jump in line! <laughs> and then they're like, oh, shit! Where's this ninja car? And my mom's like yelling at the window, oh, please! And they're going like, do you know her? And they're going like, no. <laughs> Mom. Also, yeah, like that's not your mom doesn't need to do that. <laughs> that's that's going to get people in, in some shit. Uh, I think the scare, the jump scare, was enough. But um, yeah, but yeah, it's like y'all y'all seen in the yeah. road. Like, right. what you get. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're eight minutes in. We've barely scratched the surface of everything. So Five. let's start jumping through. The, no, that was cute. That was cute. All right. So let's see. Let's let's do the decorations meeting before we get to the saga of the DJs and stuff like that. All right. So we went back down to our mm -hmm. venue. Got a lot of great questions answered. There is on-site security. So don't you have any weird ideas? You ain't getting in. Um, you know, uh, it, it's a beautiful place. We took some pictures to show our, our guests how to get in and all of that. Uh, we did change a little bit of the plan in terms of, you know, instead of the dinner being on this side. So picture, you'll see it in the future vlog, but picture, we have an entire floor, mm -hmm. which I have to show you. Uh, I, I got a teaser shot from the, that movie, the incredibly overdue uh, nup uh, the fantastical nuptials of Eric and Mary. Mm -hmm. That movie's gonna be crazy. <laughs> Anyways, now when you see what I'm saying, it's, it's funny, I realized it last night. I was like, oh, the irony, this is fantastic. Um, so anyways, so we went up there, it's like, so we have a whole floor and you know, there's like the kitchen and stuff off inside, but you can kind of go around the whole building and see all across the city. So, you know, we're kind of flipping some things around where it goes, like cocktail hour is now over here or whatever, or the party dance is now over here and dinner's over here, where there's blah, 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 ceremony. It's awesome. Um, but we have a plan, we walked it through. Uh, I had to be very, I had to remind, keep reminding myself that I'm not, this is not me making a movie and other people, I, I give them room to bring up their stuff. But boy, howdy, mm -hmm. there were times that I'm like, can I run everybody through the plan? Because if you're gonna ask questions now, I'm not gonna retain the answers. <laughs> Plus your questions may get answered. Like, let me just run what the plan of the ceremony is. And we work from there. Um, so I did, I had to turn my filmmaker guy down a little bit, like, come on, Eric, because I'm used to running those meetings and being like, answer, yes, answer, yes. Now I'm sitting here going, y'all, y'all, just, just let him talk and get it out of the system. Yeah. Not getting anything done until that happens. Yeah, because Mary knows. I mean, that's how I work. And that's, that's how, like, I would run a film set, you know, is I'm gonna walk everybody through the day and then that would give me your questions. Okay, that is a problem. I have an answer for that, here it is. You know what, I don't have an answer for that. Give me 30 seconds, give me a minute to think on that and I'll get back to you. Or hey, I will take a day and think on that. You know, I'm prioritizing, so. And uh, I think I was pretty good at that. And I believe our house of house, we have a house coordinator. We kind of figured, but Natalie, I feel, felt appreciative of that mm -hmm. as well. I had answers, you know, mm -hmm. I've got answers. Um, so we got a plan for that. We got a plan for photos. We got a plan for indoor, outdoor, depending on the weather. Um, kind of checked with the lighting. She ran me through what audio they have, which is not a lot, but it does help because they have a couple of wireless mics and we can plug into the house system to play music, which we'll do for some things, because I'll get to that. Um, and you know, they actually have a TV there we're gonna be able to plug into for the karaoke, so we can do all that. Uh, so that went pretty well. Um, 
We're not gonna do a lot of decorations. It's mostly coming down to the entrance in the hall, some like tassel -y curtains for the hallway entrance and exit, a um, couple of red carpets, maybe some stanchions and velvet ropes for, uh, you know, like the, the walk down the aisle to make it feel like, you know, the red carpet treatment. And maybe a background for where we get married. So it's not a lot. It's, it's mostly tablecloths and napkins. And we did find out if we let them rent them, or even if we rent them and get them to them early, early enough, they will put it out for us if we tell them the decorative plan. Mm -hmm. And as well as uh, our centerpieces, because our center, see yet another reason I am so happy our centerpieces turned out to be so simple. Mm -hmm. um, they will be able to put those down for us as well. We don't have to have people that are assigned to go decorate that real quick when they do the flips in the rooms. You know, mm -hmm. turning one room into being the next thing it needs yeah. to be. Mom finished pretty much. All of them? I think she's still working on like the little base to put in the middle. Okay, well, I was wondering how how that was. Okay, excellent. So there's another great thing because we're like 16 days and change out now uh, as we film this. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> and again, any if you ever see me be like 16 days, it's not the marrying. I'm excited for the marrying. <laughs> it's like there's still so much to plan. Um, Your guys still need shirts. <laughs> yes, I'm ordering those tonight because guess who was smart and waited because it's like wait a minute. Nothing's on sale right now, like Macy's and places like that. Oh, Labor Day weekend. Labor Day weekend sale started today and all my shirts are like 50% off. Like, gonna order those tonight. Um, so all that happened. And let's see, let's get to some of the other stuff because the DJ thing is its own thing. Uh, playlist thing is its own thing. Mm -hmm. But that's pretty much that. So the other big news is rings. We have a few things to tell you about rings. Mm -hmm. uh, one, I think we mentioned this before. If we didn't, we're doing two types of rings. We Fancy rings for, you know, the, like the gold and all that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. And then for activities, like if we're swimming in the ocean or like certain days in Disney, we might want something a little more forgivable if lost or, you know, replaceable. <laughs> so uh, Mary had found those, uh, what are the silicone? The, uh, what is it, en Enzo rings, E-N-S-O. And uh, they do the Star Wars collection. And yes, we got the I love you and the I know. Um, and we did it in the keepsake box. <laughs> and, uh, just to show you a little bit, just to give you an idea. And these feel really nice, at least mine did. Um, so you can open that up and get that in there. And then, um, yeah. And it's in Arabish. Arabish, it says, you know, I love you. And then the silver says, I know. Of course, Mary gets the I know. Um, <laughs> yeah. But here's what's really weird is we had, uh, when these came the other day, we had two packages from them. And I was like, why did they send them separately? Guess what they did and they screwed up and they sent us two. <laughs> I checked my bank account. I was only charged for one. We got a discount and everything, but it's like 80 bucks for two of these. That's mm -hmm. a good deal. They also have some really other cool ones. Now, the only thing is the seven, we look, they don't do half sizes on those yet. Mm -hmm. And Mary's a seven and a half. And uh, so they said, if you're half size, go the size lower because they'll expand a little, but it looked a little tough. And even mm -hmm. I, like it, it fit pretty good on me a seven, but then yeah, getting it off is a little, so I've gone ahead and ordered <laughs> her an eight. That way she has, uh, uh, you know, cause mm -hmm. both of us have the thing where on any given day or weather dependent, our fingers are a little thicker or a little thinner. <laughs> so um, so there's that, but yeah. so that's really cool. But then we also actually figured out our real rings and we don't have those to show you yet, but we did go out, we got them and um, we've already had them sized, they're already ready. And I'm like, shit, I'm not ready to pick them up. I don't know when we have time to go pick them up, but we'll figure it out. Um, I'll tell them it'll be within the next few days. Yeah, hopefully by the weekend at the latest, I would imagine. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it is the next few days. Um, but it was also really sweet because the lady that Mary had met when she went to Reed's Jewelers mm -hmm. before me was apparently really nice to her and remembered her. Yeah. And I'm, long, I'm not gonna tell you the whole story because that'll take forever in itself. Uh, turns out her and her, her boyfriend or significant other or whatever, uh, they watch a lot of Twitch and like people like XQC and I mentioned like, oh, that guy's made fun of me a few times. I mean, he was reasonably nice about it, but I was like, what? So. Got into the whole thing about me being the Star Wars crying guy and she ended up asking for a selfie with us. <laughs> like apparently we made her night and all that. It's like, no man, that's really cool. So that was really fun. Um, I got like a, a men's rounded 10 karat gold, uh, six millimeter, just basic gold band. I love that classy classic. Mary's is beautiful. I'll show you that. We'll show you that at some point. So we got all that. So that's the rings, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. DJs and playlists. Was there something else before I get to that? Wedding related? Uh, let's see, I got hair and makeup. Scheduled. Scheduled yeah. For my part. Other than Casey confirming if this Saturday he can, I um, am doing my bachelor party this Saturday because I assume the next Saturday, <laughs> the last Saturday before the wedding, might be busy. We might need that day to do stuff. 
Uh, have no idea what we're doing for the bachelor party. I'm all over the place, like Malibu Jacks, and then go somewhere and drink and eat wings, or have everybody come over here, let Mary start us a fire pit, and order a bunch of pizzas. I, I don't know. Ooh, Malibu Jacks. I know, but... Maybe I'll see you. <laughs> Uh, so anyways, we got that going. Uh, I got some cool new clothes and stuff too that I also like. I got them for Star Wars costumes, but also I'm like, oh shit, I really like this shirt. I'm gonna order a few more. <laughs> um, okay, so there's all that. All right, so let's get into the DJ stuff and the playlist stuff, and then maybe something else will pop up in our mind. So, the saga of, oh, photographer. I think we told you our buddy Brando Photographer. Yeah. Yeah, no, I know he's gonna. A couple weeks ago. Okay, well, remember that. That's gonna come into play here a little later, in a good way, in a good way, in a butt saving way. <laughs> and and we love Kathy. So if I say anything and it sounds like I'm being negative to her, I'm not. It, I'm just preferencing in case it comes out that way. I don't want it to come out that way, um, because it really was on us. But it's kind of one of those like, oh man, really wish we had known this sooner kind of deals. So. Uh, can you see? No. They, well, they can. No. Um, he's splayed <laughs> out on the couch. All right, so. Stop distracting me, because this is a long one. I gotta get, here's the wind. Okay, so, obviously, we got to the wedding planning late. Obviously, I got in, super involved late, because slowing down YouTube took me a lot longer than I anticipated. The quick story is that I have learned that, man, if this wasn't my wedding, I'd have this shit in the bag, no problem. I own everything I need, but we're not gonna use any of my stuff, because I don't wanna be worried about it my whole damn wedding day, and I'm a little bit picky about other people working with my stuff. So that said, we didn't get a DJ early, and early we wanted our buddy Tom Little, who's a great like karaoke DJ, and he does wedding stuff mm -hmm. as well, and uh, but he was already booked. But then he offered to lend us his equipment and train Kathy how to use it. And I was like, okay, so we went with that. And then I deprioritized getting a DJ, because I was like, yeah, I mean, it's just for the party, just do a little karaoke, play some songs. Didn't think about it beyond that until a few days ago, <laughs> when I started to realize Oh, there's a lot more to it. Like, uh, you know, maybe the people in the back want to hear our nuptials. Do we need to be mic'd? Uh, what about toasts? Do we need a mic for that? Uh, if we're going to be in different rooms at different times, how are we playing the music? We don't want to have a DJ moving his booth around, blah, 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 blah. Um, so all of that and more, right? And then I thought, well, we don't have anybody who's going to be a specific DJ to like pick out songs and transition songs. So that was another concern. And then the big concern hit that the two people who we were kind of counting on to help run the DJ stuff is Kathy who's a bridesmaid, <laughs> and Brando, who's our photographer. And we're definitely having music cues and maybe some emceeing during the ceremony, at which point neither, those two are busy with much more important jobs. So I was like, oh. So then I tried to reach out to a DJ or two, and, I have, and I'm not faulting any of them, I understand the process, but I have learned, yeah, they're, they're not gonna be in a hurry to get back to you because typically you're asking them six months to a year out and they don't need to be in a hurry and they're using that time to focus on the guests they're working with now. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, mm, I haven't heard back from any of those people like a few days later. Mm. So I took it upon myself to be like, okay, let me figure this out. So I started creating playlists and we'll come back around to that. I wanna do the equipment part first. So then as we did the decorations thing yesterday and I went mm -hmm. down there and I learned what kind of gear I, they had, I was pleased to find out they have two wireless microphone handhelds that built work into their whole system. It's built in, we wouldn't have to do anything. And then they have a basic, uh, you know, three and a half millimeter plug to plug an auxiliary in. But it's like way back in an office, so you don't get to it too easy. But worst case, I could broadcast through Bluetooth stuff. I've got tricks around that if I need to do that. So that took a little pressure off. So I was like, okay, so now I just mostly need to worry about, you know, like the music and the dance and the karaoke and all that kind of stuff, and maybe a little bit in the ceremony. So I thought, all right, let me get, let me talk to Kathy. Cause I'm like, there's no way Tom like lent us a PA system. And I don't even know if he had lights that he was lending us. So I was like, so Kathy, what exactly is he lending us? Like, are we getting any of that stuff? And literally her response was something along the lines of, Oh, I don't know anything about any of that or how it's getting to the venue or getting set up. He just showed me how to use it. At which point I freaked out. Not like I didn't freak out on anybody, but I, I freaked out. It's like, fuck, we're like at this point, 17 days away. Did you send him a message? Tom? Yes. No, I don't need to. I know, I know what, 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 what the deal is. And now as you're about to find out, We've overcome pretty much all of that. So how um, are you doing the karaoke? That's, see, I, so I, I did all this earlier and I told Mary, would you like to know what all we're doing? And then I thought, wait, I'll just tell you at the same time. Ah, I'm telling all the this people. This is the new stuff, okay. Yeah, so, so today, uh, well, actually the other day, we were by Guitar Center and I knew about this place, the doo-wop shop. That's where I bought my like uh, DJ lighting that I used on Drunk, Drunk and Movie Night. Like if you know DMX style lightings, 
Um, you know what I'm talking about. It's, it's not a simple system, but I've learned it. I know it. So, but doo was closed. We couldn't get there. So we asked the guys at Guitar Center and they were like, man, before they even told us prices, they're like, man, you, you should just go do it at doo They're going to be a lot cheaper than us. And I was like, okay, I appreciate that. But while I'm here, can you kind of give me an idea like what I'm looking at? Like if I have to come to y'all, is it, is it too late? And they're like, no, 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 we aren't renting anything right now. You'll be fine. And they gave me these prices like, and it probably would have cost two, three hundred dollars to rent some, not the best lights, nothing DMX even, I don't think. And, and an okay like PA system, not a full mixing and blah, blah, blah. Uh, and it would have cost two, three hundred dollars for a day. So uh, we went to do up today and boy as expected was it so much less. Uh, also, they do rental blocks of a week. So we pay $220 for everything I'm about to tell you for a week, which means we get to pick it up the Wednesday before the show, plenty of time to test it out. And even if I have to use my own stuff earlier than that, I now have an opportunity with either my own stuff or the rental stuff to bring some people in to teach them some of this stuff. Cause, and preset, like I can preset a lot of the DMX stuff, but I'm still gonna have to show them how to use the controller. The only thing I didn't get, and then we'll run into what we actually got, is my DMX controller, I was hoping to get one where you could run the music through it, because there are a few out there that do this, that'll do like automatic beat detection, so it'll change the lights automatically to the song. Couldn't do that. Best we have is I'm gonna show a few people how to manually change some things, and then there's a tap sync button, so if somebody, they really feel like the lighting needs to get in the groove, they can go up there and just bah, tap to the music a little bit, and then it'll start changing based on that. Okay. All right, so what we got for that money, <laughs> I don't remember the wattage, but I know it's good. Like they asked me questions like, okay, how many people are coming? Uh, what kind of room? And I was able to show them the walkthrough video and they kind of confirm, conferred against each other and you know, and all this stuff. So we're getting two uh, like main speakers and stands and a subwoofer. We're getting a few a 25 foot cables for those. We're getting a six channel mixer with the auxiliary cord for running the music through. We're getting three microphones, two straight stands, one boom stand, all the microphone cables. So we have two for duets and one in case the DJ wants to throw some stuff out there. Um, there might be one more piece to that, but I think that's pretty much it on the sound side. Uh, and then on the lighting side, we got four uh, par, I think par 64s, but like the digital version that do change colors that are DMX operable with four lighting stands. Uh, all another like, we got some 225s and 50, 250 foot cables for those. So we could even run it all around the dance floor if we want a four point. Um, and we got a DMX uh, controller for that. I might have to, provide one of my own termination plugs, but they're like seven bucks. So if I fuck up and lose that, all right, fine. Um, so we have all of that. Okay. And that's actually pretty easy to set up, especially when we have somebody like Brando who knows how to set up PAs at least. And it's, it's not a complicated thing for me to show people. If I had to teach people how to like mix, blah, 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 that's a little different. So what I'm assuming is that the minimum what Kathy is getting is some form of a computer or something that has the karaoke songs on it. Mm -hmm. If we can't do that, Somebody else can bring their own damn laptop and we can grab the karaoke songs off YouTube like we do for our streams sure. and we can run it through there. So, so at this point between Kathy and Brando, some of my other friends and even I like, like if I got to go over there and like hit a couple of switches that day, I probably would actually enjoy that anyways, playing with the lighting as long as I'm not stuck up there the whole time. So we now have a party sound system, a party lighting system, mm -hmm. and we're gonna have the right people to get it set up and get it where it needs to go and all of that. So I feel like even though we didn't have a DJ DJ, we have the solution coupled with the playlists. Okay. <sighs> so, and I'll, but think about, think about how much stuff I just told you we're getting for 220 mm -hmm. for a week. That's, that's awesome. And they loved it. Like I knew the guest count and I had a video I could show them of the room and all of that. Mm -hmm. So it's like, that was really helpful. <laughs> and the fact that I went in there and knew what the fuck I was talking about, especially because the owner comes over because I had a question about the DMX boards and he just saw what I was looking at. And he's like, I, have you ever worked with DMX before? And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm well familiar with the headaches. He's like, okay, good. <laughs> cause, cause he's like, it ain't easy. I was like, you know, I'm aware. And what it is, it's easy to operate, but it is, it can be complicated to set up. Cause the whole thing is like each light has at least three communication Check. channels. I'll tell, well, I was trying to impress her. It had three communication channels and one's for brightness, one's for color, mm -hmm. one's for strobe. Um, so you have to set each light to a channel that's three strikes against each other, blah, 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 blah. Um, and even the board we rented very, pretty much the same board I have upstairs. Um, so, so there is that. The only difference is I have RGB lights and these are par 64. So I'm going to look into them, but yeah, so there you go. So that's that. So 
playlists. I know, this is mostly me. In case you want, Mary, would you like to tell them why it's mostly me doing the talking in these segments? Because I have no idea what the hell is going on. Well, it's not. <laughs> because you're the one doing most of the work? Not because I... I'm trying to, don't make me look like an asshole. I'm not doing this. <laughs> because you're the one who's good at doing this? And has the time, and has essentially. The time. And I just want, I just wanted you to like, let them know that it's not, I'm not like just being like, it's all me. I'm doing all of it. I'm taking over everything. Mary has kind of specifically said, can, I, she's, you have thanked me, right? You've yes. said like, you're glad that I'm handling all of this <laughs> so you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. That's what I was getting at. Like, I just like, don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> don't make me look like an asshole, man. I am an you, asshole. You know how often it goes wrong when you try to be oblique with, about something with yeah, me? Yeah, I know. That's true. <laughs> but yet I'm marrying you anyways because you're lovely. Um, the more oblique you are, the worse it goes. Yeah, I know. Especially when the camera's rolling and I'm looking for a specific thing. <sighs> We're a really good improv uh, group. We're mm -hmm. always finishing each other's... Sandwiches? Sentences. God damn. No, I'm just... <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so playlists. I'm going to run through this fairly quickly. I am developing multiple playlists and it doesn't feel like work. I have to remind myself, no, I am accomplishing things here. <laughs> um, so we have the pre-show playlist, which is like the 30 minutes of people arriving. And I'm so excited. It's got music from like Pirates of the Caribbean, Doctor Who, because of how we met, things like that. I, put, I don't want to miss a thing on there is the next to last song is like a subtle cue to people like, it's about to start. <laughs> Um, you know, so we got some fun stuff on that. Then we have the ceremony playlist. There's some cool Bill and Ted stuff in there. I've got my Star Wars music in there, which honestly, um, when I was putting it together last night and I heard it and I finally got to, we had, cause yesterday was our day. Like mm -hmm. we were feeling pretty romantic yesterday cause we were seeing it come to life. And uh, I played that music and I started thinking about it and, and I got emotional as <laughs> fuck. I, I realized I am probably am going to blubber like I do in a Star Wars trailer on the day. <laughs> Is who I is. Uh, still picking up a few things for Mary. Mm -hmm. Haven't quite landed on the right one yet. Yeah. Um, we're working I, all that out. I'm difficult. Well, no, I mean, you're just, <laughs> I mean, because it's mostly me coming up with choices and ideas and be like, this one, this one, this one. Yeah. I mean, at least we're ballparking. Mm -hmm. Then we have like the hour of um, cocktail and appetizer hours, because when the bar opens after the ceremony. And that's going to be a lot of songs that are awesome songs, and maybe you'll get, as you're drinking, you'll kind of want to sway to them a little bit, bop to them a little mm -hmm. bit, but they're not really like, dance party songs. So there's mm -hmm. some like Sympathy for the Devil by the Rolling Stones. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these songs I tried to put significance of our relationship into. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like I got my Lilo and Stitch song, things like that. And honestly too, the very first song is from Princess Bride. So <laughs> um, so then we do the dinner hour. I'm gonna do mostly film score through there. I found some cool How to Train Your Dragon stuff. Don't tell Mary, even though I just totally told her in her face. <laughs> um, and then we hit the big party and it's like two hours of dancing and it's gonna go from like swing music out to the club bangers by the end when people are drinking some pit bull, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of stuff. Yes, Baby Got Back's gonna be on there. And yes, Kim, Kim, don't freak out. There's at least one Janet Jackson song. <laughs> so the next trick is the karaoke element. And I started doing some math on that. And I'm like, well, how much karaoke do we actually wanna do? How much do we, who do we wanna open it up to? Cause, cause we are trying to throw a party and I've never like planned a music list for a party, but I might be a decent at it. Cause I, it's coming together in my head. It's like editing a movie. It's just finding the flow. Um, but I realized like we probably at best want to do 10, maybe 12 karaoke songs, depending on what we pick. And I'm even at this point, like, I think everybody should pick them before because it would be better if I know what everybody's going to do yeah. so that I can build it into the music flow. So nobody like brings the party to a screeching halt in the middle. Cause like, I thought about doing follow you into the dark and I'm like, man, that's such a fucking sad song though. And like doing that in the middle yeah, of a party. A lot of my, my songs are not really wedding appropriate. Yeah, although we may be able to work in Fever if we put it in a little bit earlier. Because also when I was putting together the party mix, it's like, oh, people do like to slow dance. And I had like one slow song on there, so I had to put a few others. I can do that during cocktail. Yeah, exactly. Well, no, I, I, I don't we'll, like we only get half a cocktail hour because that's when we're doing our photos and stuff too, so. Mary's getting Fireball and Angry Orchard. I'm getting wine and vodka. Dad has to bring his own Angel's Envy <laughs> for his friends. If you're coming, don't expect to get any unless you buddy up to him. Angel's Envy Rye, not the bourbon. Um, so yeah, so there's that. I think I think I have settled on my songs. Early I'll do Jump, Jive, and Whale, and later I'm gonna do Europe's The Final Countdown. Because I was thinking we could have a couple each, then we could let certain other people have one. So I don't know, that's, that's a thought in progress right now, because like I said, I don't want somebody just going up there and picking a song that just draws drops the party to a screeching halt. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
So there. And then Brando knows how to help hook up PA, so he's gonna make sure he does that. I'm gonna teach my guys, and I'm gonna show them how to work the DMX lights and all that, so they can get that all set up. Cause, cause obviously the bridal party could be off getting makeup done and stuff. So, uh, so we'll get the guys in there. They're gonna be getting all purdy. Yeah. Well, I only care about one of you being purdy. The rest don't matter. So and that's me. <laughs> Wait, I need to schedule my makeup. No, actually, I do need to. My hair is well, killing well, me. What's going to be, be, be interesting is watching him vacillate between crying and doing the, the, the cartoon wolf with the tongue and the eyeballs. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, she's trying to she's trying to she's trying to make sure I end up with a boner in front of everybody. Apparently, I don't care. We got to put a ring on it, baby. All right, so there's all of that. I feel like there was one other element that, that was gonna play in once we told that whole story. Food is pretty settled, mm -hmm. except for the rehearsal dinner food now. It's gonna be delicious. Uh, it's gonna cost a lot of money, but it's gonna cost less than what we thought because we aren't getting to that 100 guest mark, which at this point, shoot. I don't know, that's a lot. We, we've run through a lot, but I do feel like there was one more other important part to this, and I know you got flowers, I don't know. Yeah. That's probably good though. It is 11.19, fuck. All right. Oh, what? Yeah, this has been over half an hour. Oh, shit. Um, that's why I put it on the stand. All right, <laughs> so there you go. You'll get one more wedding update, and then you'll next week. Damn. Is that right? Uh... You might get two. I think there's two more. I don't know how you're doing your vlogs. Well, they come out on Fridays. If on Fridays, then yeah, two more. Okay, so you got two more before, so you'll get a little bit more. Uh, I'm getting ahead on all that stuff too, so. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know if you were having a current, current vlog coming out on the Friday before the wedding or not. Yeah, I, I will, but we'll have that one done on Monday. That's why I put what I'm, don't tell them, but that's why I put what I'm cooking and all that on, the, on my schedule. So mm -hmm. I remember by this day, you need to do this, because yeah. that. I'm sorry. I said something because it amused me too much. I had a typo on that date thing on the calendar. <laughs> and I literally was like, don't tell him. And she's like, you mean you're... And then said that. I was like, bro. <laughs> I love you. I'm sorry. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. You're great. You're not even good. You're great. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, there's all that. Okay, we gotta go. That's, uh, that's, that's that. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. Oh, uh, uh, that's a different segment. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh, also, I remember the other wedding thing I was going to tell you. We're starting to doubt if we're going to be able to live stream. I just got to be honest with you for a few reasons. One, people doing it. Two, so much copyrighted music. Three, even if we were to just unmute during us doing our nuptials, our real, like Mary's particularly, real last, well, mine is Bucks, that's my, but her real last name would come out and we have no way to mute that. So I don't know what we're gonna do in that regard. I do have a plan for self-filming using multiple GoPros and I can cut it together and show it to you later and we'll vlog some stuff and maybe we'll do like a five minute live stream or something, but just be prepared that that promise I had forever may go away because of the practicalities of it. It might be legitimately impossible. So I felt like I should throw that out so you would know. Well, Mary wants to show you Aaron. Look at this cute boy, how he likes this way out. Let me, get, let me Michael Bay him. Shit just got real. No, that was actually a cool shot. All right, quick uh, Halloween. We got some more Halloween stuff. Not a lot. We got the low lying thousand watt fog machine for our smoking skulls. The fog timer and a gallon of fog juice. So I'm excited about that. Hopefully we'll test some stuff out. Got my new Food Network magazines, my Cooks Illustrated, and look what I found, Disney drinks to pair with my Disney foods we're going to make. Uh. Did I show you that I got this Halloween creepy town clown tower? I'm gonna test it out, but I got that too, so. Pretty excited about that. Uh, September, oh, and Mary got this. It's Spooky Mickey, which is makes perfect sense. By the way, uh, they had a killer clown one of these. Mm -hmm. I almost bought it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mary hates killer clowns. Especially the ones from outer space. So hopefully we'll test all this stuff soon. So there you go. There's a little Halloween. Oh no, I didn't. Thank you for reminding me. Mary picked these up. These are quite charming. Especially since we're gonna be Gomez and Morticia. Uh, fuck, have I told people that? Well, I told you now. 
I think you may have. I think I did. I think I showed the costume. But this is much more my aesthetic. Yeah, and I think that's very cool. And that way I can mix this up some cool cocktails to put in there. Maybe something with pickle juice and... No, I'm, just, I'm messing with you. Although, you know, pickle teenies are good. All right, uh, more stuff. All right, listen, there's already enough in this vlog. We've done everything. I'm wrapping it out here. Should have shot this wrap before because it's the only thing I'm doing. Everything else is ready to finish the edit. Almost forgot to finish this vlog because we finished so much of this vlog so early. <laughs> And I woke up today and I was like, oh, fuck, I gotta finish the vlog today. <laughs> All right, so uh, thank you, everybody. There's no game talk. I'm, I'm hoping tonight or tomorrow I'll start Kingdom Hearts. I got that Kingdom Hearts collection that has, like, you know, 1.5, 2.5, 3, and, like, all the other fucking games. Uh, yeah, listen, there's just a lot going on. Thank you for bearing with it. Um, all right, that's it. Check out the webbing website, uh, buttsbuddies.com, B-U-T-T-S-B-U-D-D-I-E-S.com. And I need to update a bunch of stuff on there some food pictures and things like that uh comment below let me know what do y'all think thoughts concerns <laughs> suggestions whatever uh remember that we will get through this we will get through this together and you can also check out my music anywhere you listen to music eric butts look me up spotify apple music wherever uh check i'm gonna make a film or a short or something next year early half of it so look up ericbutts.com, check my out-of-date website for some of my previous filmmaking stuff, and a lot more content and ways to support the channel with links in the description below. So click that see more button to see more butts, Morty. All right, I'm gonna get out of here and keep pushing, keep trucking, so we can get this shit done and enjoy it. All right, I'll see you all later. I love you. Bye.